is future weapons. I've come to Mesa, Arizona, the place where Boeing developed the tank-killing Apache Longbow gunship. But the good people at Boeing aren't just building aircraft that require pilots. They're also building unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs. As leaders in aviation technology, it's no surprise that Boeing has pushed the concept one step further. This is the AH-6X, nicknamed Little Bird. It's an incredible aircraft with a proven combat record. It's reliable. It's versatile, but what's experimental about an aircraft that's been around since the 60s? They've turned it into a UAV. It's one of a kind. It's the only lightweight assault helicopter in the Army's inventory that has the capability to be both manned and unmanned. The Little Bird started out as a commercial aircraft, but became a legend when it was adapted for special operations. Of the dozen aircraft I've flown, this is uh, this would be my favorite one to fly. Uh, agile, strong, uh, the doors are off, the wind's on your side. It's just a, a great experience. Test pilot David Guthrie has been a fan of the Little Bird from the beginning. It's been around since the Vietnam era, uh, a favorite of uh, all the pilots I've spoken with, uh, scout army, special operations. Uh, it just goes and goes and goes. If you're going to redesign a helicopter to be a UAV, this is the vehicle that can do it all. In 2004, the Little Bird took its first autonomous flight. Boeing's lead systems designer for the unmanned Little Bird is Greg Doctor. Essentially, the aircraft will fly the route that was loaded and come all the way back to a hover and hover for a bit and then land and uh, you can take off and land at any location as uh, decided by the ground station. With uh, satellite communication, you can control and send the signals through the satellite to the Little Bird, and you can upload routes, change routes, and take off and land just about anywhere in the world. What began as a complete conversion into a UAV led to another concept, the idea of an unmanned and manned aircraft as the same platform. He said, well, if a pilot can or can't be in there, what would be the utility of having the pilot? When we think about uh, doing a, uh, a tactical mission, a firefight, uh, you want to go out on a dark, foggy night. The crew's tired. They're navigating, trying to get through the, the trees, the, the low ground. Have it in the autonomous mode. They get to the fight, disengage, and then they fight the fight. If something happens to them, hit another button, they have their own medevac home. With 25 years in the Army, Dale McPherson fully appreciates the capability that the Little Bird brings. You can carry men if you need to. As you well know, being a special operator, if you're wounded, you jump inside, it'll take you home. And it can also carry critical supplies. And what I mean by that is, is you're in a firefight. You need something as simple as M16 ammunition, but you don't have it. This thing can fly into a hot LZ without endangering a crew to dump those kind of supplies off to help the guys out on the ground. And you can also use it for sling loads, meaning externally tether a load to the bottom of that helicopter and bring it into an area also. And that's not all. The Little Bird can be equipped with a whole range of deadly rockets, guns, and missiles. It can be configured to have a number of different weapon systems, from the 7.62 M60 machine gun to the 50 caliber machine gun to 2.75 inch rockets, all the way up to the Hellfire missile. Uh, we have an ATK 50 cal gun, which is a, a lightweight, very reliable, and very accurate gun that we've installed on the aircraft, and uh, we're the first aircraft to fire it. The important thing there is that it's integrated into our flight controls and our ground station, so the ground station actually can control the weapon and control the aircraft at the same time. One of the coolest things about the unmanned Little Bird is you can fly it out of one of these.
The Apache is widely recognized as one of the meanest combat helicopters in the world. When it comes to maneuverability and firepower, it's one of a kind. It also has the ability to control the unmanned little bird. From a performance perspective, from a logistics perspective, from a reliability and maintainability perspective, this, this aircraft is state of the art. Having an Apache controlling a little bird is crucial, according to Don Makareg. The pilot can launch the aircraft, can control its waypoints, can actually take over control of the little bird sensor for acquiring uh, targets, and we can actually launch Hellfires to those targets from a safe distance back up on the Apache. It's like playing a video game. I mean, you have your screen, you have your icons, you know where you want to go, you know what you want it to do, and you execute the tasks. To show just how easy it is to control the little bird from the Apache, Boeing has created a state-of-the-art simulator and I get to take on a mission. Okay, Matt, well, what we've got here is we're gonna put you in a situation inside of our simulator. I want you to take off with your team of Apaches. You'll have two Apache block three. I want you to locate, identify, and destroy all the enemy vehicles that you find there. I'm also giving you operational control of the unmanned little bird. What I want you to do is use it to go up to reconnoiter the area before the Apache even unmask and identify high value targets. Those would be air defense artillery systems and command and control systems. Destroy those first before you unmask your Apache team and you will be invulnerable to the targets that are out there. So that is my primary target. You got it, get in the cockpit. Taking me through the mission is the lead engineer, Mike Wolf. What we want to do is send the unmanned little bird to waypoint five. Enter Whiskey 05. Enter. And if you'll see on your tactical situation display, the unmanned little bird is now flying towards waypoint 05. Roger that. Matter of fact, I kind of see something right down there at waypoint 05. Right. With the little bird right in the heart of enemy territory, it sends back real-time information to the Apache, where I'm safely out of harm's way. And using the Apache controls, you can zoom in with the unmanned little bird sensor and see those. I, I see them very, very clearly. You can actually identify very cleanly which, what vehicle is what, and what direction they're moving. What we can do is by pushing forward on that switch right now, Roger at that point we can link the Apache's sensor to the UAV sensor and engage with the Apache weapon system. Using the Little Bird's laser target designator, I'm able to lock onto the target from here and take out the threat. Now you can use your left trigger to actually launch the missile. And firing the missile. Down here turn. tells me I have five, three, two, one. Target's done. Target destroyed. But we've destroyed the primary target. Right. And now we can pretty much take the rest anytime we want. Exactly. I'm using the weapon systems on the Apache to the best of my ability to handle all those threats without ever exposing myself to danger. Absolutely. And Little Bird's giving me every piece of information that I need to be able to track onto that. That's right. And if I want to see exactly what Little Bird is seeing, all I have to do is flick a switch. That's right. And it looks pretty decimated out there. So one Apache, with the help of Little Bird, has pretty much cleared out every threat that's out there right now. And it's actually kind of fun to play with. It is a lot of fun. For the dull, dirty, and dangerous missions of tomorrow, the unmanned little bird is just about ready for anything. And teaming it up with the fearsome Apache may make them unstoppable. Yeah.